Hello everybody and welcome back. We have some new products from Moza Racing, their new RS V2 steering wheel. So if you guys remember when I first got the R9, we got it with the original RS wheel, which the RS wheel was definitely a very amazing wheel with all the dials and the horn button and everything like that. Mechanical, you know, magnetic shifters and you know activated clutches so the rs wheel was very amazing but now we're taking a look at their brand new rs v2 wheel big thank you to moza racing for sending this out for me to uh get my impressions on it, everything like that if you can't see from the box but we're gonna take a look at the actual wheel itself so we're gonna get this thing opened up out of here so a lot of different styling changes off the rip with this wheel. I'm actually going to move this box so we can uh, get the wheel more in focus. So a lot of different styling. So there's forged carbon fiber front plate with the Moza Racing logo on it. We do have all the buttons and everything like that. Their new black style quick release. Magnetic shifters as well as our dual clutches. It does have the newer pin setup for say the R5 and more, you know, functionality. But just the sheer look and beauty of that, you know, forged carbon fiber plate with the Moza Racing logo. So if you notice the buttons here are actually the same textile style buttons and everything like that. You still have the adjustability like polymer knob that also go in as well and textile feel but the buttons if you notice they're black because these buttons do light up and glow which we're going to take a look more once we get it on the rig but overall initially extremely beautiful wheel and a very big change from the original you know rs rs to rs v2 definitely uh two amazing looking wheels i love the forged carbon fiber on the RSV2. Did like the horn button, but this one also has the forged carbon fiber here, but this has a forged carbon fiber plate, which I think adds another level of kind of awesomeness to this beautiful looking wheel. So we're gonna go put this on the rig and actually uh, take a look at some of the features of the wheel. So we're gonna switch over to the rig and get this thing on the uh, wheelbase and see what it looks like and all the features and all the buttons and being able to change the colors and things like that. So we're gonna go over there and get it put on the rig. All right, so we are on the rig. We have the standard RS wheel on here and we have the RSV2. We're gonna take this off and get the RSV2 put on and see what everything looks like initially. So we're gonna get the RSV2 plugged in. Quickly snap on, got some light tracks. That definitely looks sweet. So it looks like we have some lights and things like that. And if you guys remember when I took the FSR wheel, we pushed these two buttons in in order to change the buttons on this so in theory we should just be able to hold these there we go we got some tray and there we go we can change all of our buttons to how we want them which is actually a really awesome thing to be able to do so for like say pit limiter we're going to want to put it probably at like a green and then we'll put you know box or leave in that and then radio or reverse whatever one you want to use it we can put it as white so there's many different options on things we can do with this which is actually super incredible and awesome to be able to do that and it's something and then i believe if we just push and hold this yeah oh no wait gotta save it there we go Apparently uh, it timed. So now we saved it. So now everything works. So everything feels super awesome. And the wheel just looks incredible. So we're going to go drive with this thing, of course, because we have to uh, drive this wheel in order to feel like check the lights, tracking, everything like that. Just, you know, for sheer fun of that. So we are here in a Porsche on Sebring to give this RS wheel V2 a shakedown. We do have it set on the paddles. We do have the light set up on one light where it uh, only flashes at red line. But overall, the look of the wheel and being able to have all the lights 
change colors and all your buttons and everything like that is gonna make okay this Porsche is very slippery on hard tires okay <laughs> very very uh, hard cold tires But overall, the look of the new V2 wheel is very awesome. We are on my R9 base right now, so it does work on the R5 and the R9. I did run it on both bases. So a little bit more customization available now with the change, with the light changes and everything like that. And being able to do that, which is gonna be great for like, if you do endurance style racing and you have your room get dark when it gets dark in the racetrack, it would be nice to be able to have the buttons, which is actually good for quick uh, quick reference. I broke way too soon up for that. It's great for quick reference for the buttons because being able to just set them to a color that you instinctively know, you don't have to really look. It's going to be a quick glance to get the color and then you know which button you're actually pushing. So it's definitely a sweet feature. I love it on the FSR wheel. So it's great to see it here on the new um, RSV2. So once again, a big thank you to Mosa Racing for sending me this V2 out to take a look at and test beforehand. The overall feel with the leather is very similar to the CS wheel feeling. Uh, it's the smooth, nice smooth leather, which is different um, from the original uh, RS wheel which had that very uh, textured feeling which you know I was not too it wasn't too bad but for drifting uh, it kind of like rubbed on the hand a lot so it you know made the hand go a little bit numb but it's got the same uh, feel of say the CS wheel and the styling with that forged carbon fiber Moza racing plate in the front is definitely uh, a style that I really really like seeing I like the styling of this wheel definitely probably gonna become my new favorite uh, standard wheel in my Moza racing wheel fleet it was wider than we needed to go <laughs> but the tires are definitely warmed up now so we're able to kind of hot lap this and with it being a full-size rim it is great for drifting as well <laughs> as we as I say that we uh, go a little bit off course but being able to have all the functionality, all the buttons, and the lighting is definitely such an amazing thing. The buttons um, all feel great. We do still have all the glancing controls and push buttons and everything like the original RS wheel had, but you just have no more horn button and you have the styling change and the leather change, which I think is a huge win when it comes to the feel of the wheel. Having the nice smooth leather rather than that textured leather it definitely has a little bit of a squish to it so it feels incredibly nice in your hands without gloves uh, but with gloves would probably feel just as good I do have gloves but I just don't have them on so overall 10 out of 10 would recommend this wheel it's definitely a very awesome looking wheel if you're looking to change into another wheel in the Moza racing fleet the CS wheel, the RS you know, wheel, now the RSV2 wheel are a bunch of wheels that are just incredibly done. The magnetic pedals feel very nice just like on all the other wheels such as the CS and the other RS and the FSR wheel. So it's definitely an amazing you know, upgrade from the original RS wheel and definitely great that it does work on both bases. I did try it on both. Um, I was using some beta software from them, so once uh, the you know they'll have the full software out and everything with the release of the wheel, I would assume. So it's definitely you know great to see them working and listening and trying to get oh geez, all the wheels compatible on all the bases when it comes to the R5 and the R9 and everything like that. So it's great to see that. So once again, a big thank you to Moza Racing for sending this out. Uh, I'll leave all the link in the description box below if you guys want to pick up your own RSV2 wheel. I'll leave everything down below. I'm going to be using this wheel more and more as well because of the you know increased styling of the wheel. It just looks awesome and it feels incredible right now. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.